Okay, so I'm going to have a look at some number theory. So what we're interested in here is Legendre's formula, or otherwise can be known as the Polynax formula. And basically what it says is that this, I'll just read it out what it says for now, nu subscript p of n factorial equals from i goes from 1 to infinity of n divided by a prime number p to the power of i and this notation here is the floor function. So first of all what is this the Greek letter nu? So this is basically the p-adic function so it tells us how many times a prime number p appears in the factorization of the number in the brackets in this case n factorial. Then here we've got summation from 1 to infinity and again here we've got one here floor function. So floor function, let's just write that down here, floor function basically gives us a value of a, any number, any real number rounded down. So for example the floor value of 2.4 that equals 2. Similarly the floor value of 2.99 still equals 2. So that's going to be very important when we're calculating this uh, formula here. Okay so let's pick a, a number for n. So let's try for 8. So 8 factorial is, well 7 factorial is 5040, so if we times that by 8, we get 40,320. So what we're going to do now is pick a prime number that is below 8. So let's try just 2 for now. So we're going to try for 2, 8 factorial. Now we're going to sum now all the factorials of p to the power of i. So take the floor function of n, so n in this case is 8, divide that by the prime number, so our prime number is 2, and i is 1, so 2 to the power of 1. So that will equal 4. Okay, now it's a summation, so we need to keep going. So we've got the floor function 8 divided by 2. Now we need the number 2. So that's going to be 8 divided by 4. So the floor of that is going to be 2. And then we keep going. So now we've got 8, 2, power of 3. 8 divided by 8 is going to be 1, so the floor of 1 is just 1. Okay, now do we need to go any further? Well, just to see that, 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 8 divided by 16, the floor of 16, sorry, the floor of 8 divided by 16 equals 0. So all the rest of these numbers are going to be zero, so we don't need to continue anymore. So basically what it's telling us now is that 8 factorial, part of the prime factorial, prime factors, let's just write that on this board here. So 8 factorial, prime factorization 2, will appear 7 times in the factorization of 40,320. Okay. Why don't we just try for all of the factors of 8, all of the prime factors. So now let's try 3. So 3 and 8 factorial. So using this formula, n is 8, i we start from, from 1. So 8 divided by, this time we've got p is 3, 3 to the power of 1. And that equals, it's just under 3, so it's 2 and 2 thirds. So that is then going to be 2. So the next one we want is 8 over 3 squared. Well, 8 over 3 squared is 8 over 9. So the floor of that is going to be 0. So that's that 
come to the end. So now what we do is we know it's got 3 to the power of 2 as part of its prime factorisation. Right, now let's try number 5, that's the next prime factor in here. So 5 of 8 factorial, law function, n is 8, p is our prime number 5, to the power of 1. So the prime factorisation of that is just going to be 1, uh, is 1, yes, so that's 1. So now we can say it's also 5 to the power of 1. Let's write this a little bit better so it's a bit clearer. 3 to the power of 2, 5 to the power of 1. And then the next and the last prime factor of 8 is 7. So 7 of 8 factorial. So the Legendre's formula for 7, that's just going to give us 1, isn't it? One of our one value here, 8 divided by 7 to the power of 1. So that's just going to give us 1. When we get to 7 to the power of 2, that's going to give us 49, which is going to give us 0. So they're all 0 after that. And it's 8, sorry, 7 to the power of 1. So let's just check this out. 2 to the power of 7 is 64. So if we just check this total here, 2 to the power of 7, that equals 128. 3 to the power of 2 equals 9. Multiply those off together, that's going to be 1280 minus 128. So that's going to give us 1,152 times this by 5, 1,152 times 5 is 5 times 1,100 is 5,500 plus 5,52s is 260, that's 5,760 and then times this by 7. 7 uh, times 57 is 35, 3,990, so that's 39,990. Uh, sorry, 39,900. And then 7 times 60 is 420. That's going to give us our grand total of 40,320 which is what we wanted. Now there is an alternative formula for this function here, the p-adic value of n factorial. And what it says is this, n minus s subscript p of n divided by p minus one. So what does that mean? Well, we know what n is. n is our n factorial. So like in this case here, it was eight factorial. P is the prime number that we're concerned with. And then this one here, S subscript P of N, is basically the sum of the digits of the uh, number N in base P. So for example, if we take the number eight, so number eight, and do that in base two, i.e. binary, we end up with one, zero, zero, zero units twos fours and eights so the sum of the digits of the base two of this prime number here that equals one so let's just try it. let's see if it works so let's try periodic value for eight factorial and then we change that to the two because that's what we're interested in equals eight minus some of the digits of eight in base two that's just going to give us one our prime number that we're concerned with is two two minus one so that's just going to give us seven over one so that checks that box so let's try with three 
So 3, 8 factorial. So the p adic value of 8 factorial. So we've got our 8 here. But now we need to work out s subscript 3 of n. So 8 in base 3. So we've got units, 3s, 9s. So 0, uh, 2 3s are 6 with 2 left over. So then the S3 of 8 is 4. So 8 minus 4 divided by 2 minus 1. That gives us 2 over 1, which is going to be 2. So check, 3 works. Okay, let's try 5 with this formula. P adic value of 5 for 8 factorial. So n is 8. S5 of 8. So our S is, that's our S. Make that look a little bit different to the 5. So base 5. So 8 in base 5 is just going to be fives and units, so it's one five and three units. So the total of that is going to be four. So eight minus four. And then again here our prime number is five, so that's five minus one. So it gives us four over four, which gives us one. So that check that one there, that one works for this formula. And let's just try again for the last one. Periodic formula for seven. 8 factorial. So let's go here. S base 7 of 8. So base 7, 7 and units. So 8 is just going to be 1 7 and 1 unit. So that equals 2. So that's going to give us 8 minus 2 over 7 minus 1. And look, that gives us 6 over 6, which is 1. And check, that works.